hi guys welcome back welcome if you are new i'm vivian mario travel the world okay, all. as you know we've been in the philippines for a few days um and today again we are in manila bringing you another video so we'll discuss um, a bit about this beautiful city of manila and give you some uh, tips on the best things in our opinion to visit uh, while you're here in manila thank you once again and please subscribe if you haven't done so like our videos comment and share thank you so much So we are at the Bay Leaf in Chamorros. Um, as you know, we are staying in a, that's a second hotel that we're staying um, in the Philippines, in Manila. We wanted to see um, the area by, um, kind of like downtown. And now we are in the old city where we're gonna visit the Chamorros and all the, um, all the historic, uh, historical places so let's go manila is one of the fastest growing cities in southeast asia the city is also confronting with some of the familiar urban problems like pollution traffic congestion and overpopulation however certain measures have been taken to alleviate those problems Manila is also the world's second most natural disaster city with earthquakes, tsunamis, typhoons, floods, and landslides. Manila is a very diverse place. And to better understand this diversity, one needs to go back to the history and see at some point they were occupied by different foreign powers first the chinese at one point by the dutch also by the british spain obviously and at some point they were also occupied by us the us and also the japanese manila is the capital and second most popular city of the philippines normally after quezon city um, Manila is really the center of the country's economic, political, social, and cultural activity. Technically, habitants of the Philippines are called Filipinos. That means anybody of any race born in the Philippines. Almost all the residents of Manila are Filipinos. And the largest single foreign community of the population of Manila is made up of Chinese. But studies have shown that Filipinos can also be classified as Asian, Asian descent, Hispanic, Latin American, Native American, African, eh, European, and European. That means they are very, very diverse. Manila is predominantly Roman Catholic. About close to 90% of the citizens of Manila are women Catholic, but you also find some Protestants, Muslim, and also Buddhist. When you're in Manila, one thing you'll realize that Manila seems very stoic and modern at the same time. Also, there are a lot of places that you see they look very rich and also a lot of places that are also very poor. Health facilities in Manila are among the best in the region. Police and fire services are well organized and well supplied and according to many, they are well trained and well paid. The language spoken in the Philippines is the Filipino. However, English is the language most widely used 
in schools as well as business so if you travel to the philippines chances are you will see a lot of people who are able to speak english especially among the youth and if you come to the philippines you will land at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. And as far as transportation, uh, Manila has the famous jeepney, very popular. Um, they have the train as well. They have Grab, um, equivalent as an Uber, um, the regular taxis, and of course, uh, the famous tuk-tuk. When it comes to education, uh, Manila has made a lot of progress. Nearly all citizens over age, over the age of 10 are lit literate. And also there are more than 100 free public schools. Educational opportunities are also provided for children with disabilities, orphans of school age and adults. Now we have talked about Manila, provided you some background on the city. Now let's focus more on your visit to Manila. If you come to Manila, the next section will be talking about some top places to visit. And starting with the Entramuros. Hello guys, travel the world, talk to you all. Once again with you inside Manila, specifically Entramuros, inside the world. That's basically where everything starts. Um, if you come to Manila, Entramuros is a nice visit. It's a nice city. So basically most of the touristic attractions are in there. So we're gonna take you along with us to see more of Manila, more of Entramuros. Stay tuned. Entramuros is a walled city. It's like, it's the oldest district in Manila. It was at one point the capital of the, um, the capital of the Philippines, especially during the Spanish colonization. One thing important to understand that the city of Manila has no control over Entramuros. Entramuros is administered by the Entramuros administration. This is our car. So, inside the wall, a lot of people refer to Entramuros you'll find a lot of touristic attractions. It's probably where the main attractions are. If you come to visit Manila, you'll find Fort Santiago, Casa Manila, Manila Cathedral, St. Augustine Church, and more. Your next stop should be based on own preference is Wizard Park. Wizard Park, also known as Luneta Park or simply Luneta, is an historic urban park in Manila. It's con it is considered as the largest park in the Philippines. It's covered about 140 acres. The main uh, um, monument in the park is, is the Dr. Wizard Monument. 
it's, it led the revolution against um, the Spanish and it was executed. So there is a an area dedicated for him exactly where that, where, um, that execution occurred. So if you like history, it's definitely one stop to make to see for yourself this monument and nice place. Next on the list of recommended places to visit is the National Museum Complex. The National Museum Complex of the Philippines includes, you'll find the National Museum of Anthropology, the National Museum of Fine Arts, the National Museum for National History, the National Planetarium, also part of this complex. So it's, if you like museum, you can stop there. Next recommended item, if you like shopping, the Philippines, Manila especially has a tons of malls to visit. And one of them is the shopping mall of Asia. It's the largest shopping mall in the Philippines. Check it out. Yeah, young, old, families, kids playing, you know, food. They said it cars. <laughs> Another mall that you could also visit is the Mega Mall. It's the third largest shopping mall in the Philippines and the 13th largest in the world. It is located in the Origas district sector. So um, it's really nice and malls in the Philippines are very luxurious. So very recommended. And if you can, make a stop at Green Hills for some pearls and also all kind of shopping you can think of. They have everything you can think of there. Next thing to do is to visit the Manila Bay Walk. Manila Bay Walk is a popular seaside promenade and beachfront overlooking Manila Bay. Um, you'll find a tons of entertainment activities, restaurants, kids playing. It's very nice. They have something for everyone. It's very nice and also if you can catch it, if you can go there to watch the sunset there, that's awesome. Next recommended place to visit is the William Jones Memorial Bridge, simply known as John Bridge. While you are on the bridge, you can uh, keep walking about maybe 10 minutes. You will reach Binondo Church and the oldest Chinatown. Binondo Church is a historic church in Manila and, it, and is one of the most beautiful Roman Catholic churches in the Philippines. Next stop is Quiapo Church. It is the minor basilica of the Black Nazarene also known as the parish of St. John the Baptist, and of course commonly referred to as Quiapo Church. The church is one of the most popular churches in the country. When we were there, we could not get in the church because there was a special mass, and it was very, very busy. We, um, there's no way to get, it. we could have gotten inside the church, so we had to peek um, through the windows. Last on our list is Divisoria Market. Divisoria is a commercial center in the districts of Tondo, Binondo, and San Nicolas in Manila. 
and it is known for bargain hunting and getting the best deals on everything from clothes to food. It's one place in Manila that you cannot miss. Divisoria. Hi, this is the end of this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you happen to travel to Manila in the future, we hope this video will help you uh, just a little bit. Um, so thank you once again. Please subscribe and um, press like. Um, that helps with the algorithm that YouTube uses. And um, thank you so much. Bye for now. See you on the next one. Okay, Shane. Moi souhaite que vous te remet vidéo ça. S'il vous plaît, abonnez pour nous pour nous ca et grandir channel là et puis pesez like, remet. Merci en pile nous apprécions.